Welcome back to Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, would you rather be always hot or always cold? Always cold. And I'm tempted to say almost always hot because right now I'm cold and I'm in a cold place. But <laughs> the grass is always greener, Jones. And when it's the winter, you're wishing you were hot. But Jones, when it's the summer and it's boiling outside, you wish you were cold. And so you got to remember that. You got to remember that. And when you're cold, you can always put on more clothing, put on more layers, put on a jacket, you know, get under your covers, get under your blanket, turn the heat on in your house. But when you're hot, it's really hard to get cold. This last summer in Madrid, it was so hot, 40 degrees Celsius every single day, boiling. And it was just like you couldn't sleep. You'd wake up in the middle of the night drenched in sweat. Even if you had the fan pointed at your face, which then get, makes you sick because it's colder, it's just a nightmare. You can always make yourself hot, but it's not that easy to make yourself cold. Therefore, I'll be cold. It's got to be always hot. I want to enjoy my life. I I enjoy – I never enjoy being outdoors when it's cold. Like there's a few times – where you just kind of tough it out and you're like, oh, my buddy and I, we're going to, we're going to, you know, throw football in the snow or whatever, but, and it's fun for 20 minutes, but I legitimately rarely have fun outside unless it's a winter wonderland when it's cold, spend most of the winter inside and it's not good. You know, I, I like to get out more in the winter and that's why, you know, I've considered living in different climates. That's why I went to college in Nashville because you can stay outside for longer. It's really nice and does incredible things for your physical health for your mental health I, I i just hate being in the cold for long periods of time and if i'm always cold now we're not just talking this is a seasonal thing this is a forever thing forget you know outdoor swimming you know forget swimming in the ocean you're always cold so why would you do that forget beach lounging you're always cold forget really like enjoying sports because you're just freezing your butt off unless you're playing like football in the snow again um I don't see I don't see the merit in it. And you talk about you can always put things back on, right? But you're never really taking off your clothes in those conditions. You're just shivering in all moments where you have your clothes off. I I, I don't I don't buy it, Eli. So let me get this straight. Your argument for not wanting to be cold all the time is because you can't do outdoor swimming. You are you kidding me? That's a huge industry. That's a no. billion dollar industry. <laughs> swimming no in the ocean. And swimming outdoors. Are, are you Jones. kidding me? Swimming in outdoor pools in the ocean is a billion dollar industry in terms of in terms of entertainment. You got to be kidding me. I'm going to tell you right now. Again, you're just so 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 wrong. There's so many things that you cannot do when you're co when you're um when you're hot. And, like and the other thing is like what? You, you you've just never Cite experienced it. Cite it. what. Cite it. What, what Gordon's you cozy? Can... Like the, the opposite end of the extreme? Like I'm, I'm saying you've never been really, really hot then. Because I agree. If it's a nice warm day and it's just warm, yeah, you can do most things. You can go play sports. But I'm talking about extreme heat. When it's really, really hot, it's exactly the same as when it's really, really cold. If you're in the desert and it's 45 degrees outside Celsius, you're not leaving. You're not going outside. If you're in the city, you're staying inside all day with the air conditioning, and you literally cannot go outside. If you go, I was in Rome a few years ago in the summer, and in, in, in July, August, you can't go outside between the hours of 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. You literally can't. Forget okay, about I playing mean, any kind of sports because it, you're going to get heat stroke and collapse. <laughs> like it, it's it's unbearable. At least in the cold, like I said, you can still go outside because you can put more layers on. When it's really and truly hot in some climates, I'm not talking about Nashville. I'm talking about really hot places. You actually can't go outside. And if you do go outside, no matter how many clothes you're on, you're fucked because well, you can't take off your skin. All right. All right. Whatever. I, I know this has caused some controversy in the past, but <laughs> we talk about Celsius. I don't even know what 45 degrees Celsius oh. is, like 110 Fahrenheit. Is it Just like Google that? It. It's, it's really hot. I, uh, like no, you would I, die. I'll tell you uh, right no, I, no, I would create a, a complex system to douse myself in water and constantly be hydrating, maybe be injecting IVs into myself. It's um, 114 but, degrees. Fair yeah. Right. So yeah, it's a dangerous level of heat. Um, but I think if that was the constant norm, right? Instead of like this is like a outside, really hot streak. Ever. No, I no, I think there could be certain technologies to constantly be injecting water into your veins that could keep you hydrated. What? Um yeah. I, what do you mean? What? They have IVs. What are you I could con about? I could constantly be taking IVs when I'm outside to be able to be outside safely. You're gonna while... walk around attached to an IV? Yeah. What's wrong so you're with never going to do anything fun. You're never going to play any sports. You're never no, no, going to no. be able it's to a just... It's a mobile IV, like a portable charger. Are yeah, you and kidding you're gonna, me? But it's, it's, it's 2023. Still a thing. It's still the big... 
no, 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 no. That's like a, that's like a cord charger. This is this would be like a portable charger, what are you like AirPods about? too. Like, you dude, there's, there's technology. I could, could bring invent, an IV back Jones, with me. If you're telling me you could invent a portable IV to keep yourself cool at times. You don't think you could invent a portable heating system that you could just put on your body and just be warm yeah, but all you the never time? feel good you never feel good when you're when you're like you, you, it's always like this cozy theme like we're just making it through and but if it's better. always i'd rather like, be cozy than bur- burning alive you could never take a hot shower you would be miserable all the time there would be no escape except when you came home and just sat in the ac but you could never go outside in the world at nighttime in darkness anytime there would be no let up it would be a miserable miserable existence all right. Well, then, if you're gonna play the game of it's 114 degrees, then enjoy your negative 10 degrees outside. I you're will, not going I'll, I'll anywhere either. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic. Eli, thanks for talking. Always a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.